Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Lunar Force 1 sneaker boot. Now as you can see it does come in an all black box. You have your chrome Nike Air Force 1 branding there on the top. Give you a quick look at the label listed as like I mentioned the Lunar Force 1 sneaker boot. Size 9.5 US, the colorway is wheat wheat, white, and something gold. Um, and the retail price sticker is ripped off, but these guys retail for $155 US. So they are actually a little bit pricey, but for a pair of winter boots, that's honestly not too bad, at least in my opinion. Um, not for everybody, obviously, but I really liked how these look. And uh, over the last couple of weeks in my area, snow has been more than abundant. So really needed a pair of winter boots. And I have to say, I'm not a fan of those big rubber winter boots. I just don't like how they look. I don't like how they feel. I don't like wearing them in general. So when I saw these, um, I had I had to pick them up. I really, really like how these look. Obviously it is based off of the Air Force One. That is kind of what the sneaker boot collection is all about. They are uh, sneakers that you might wear in the spring or in the summertime, but in kind of winter boot variation. So Air Force One, been around for a long time. One of Nike's most iconic silhouettes. They also have the um, Air Max 90 sneaker boots, uh, which I was contemplating picking up, but I wasn't a fan of any of the colorways. And it's just a little bit goofy in my opinion. The Air Max 90 just doesn't look good as a high top or mid top type of variation, at least in my opinion. So that's why I picked these up. I just thought it made the smoothest transition from a regular sneaker into a winter boot, especially in this wheat based colorway. So as far as the upper is concerned, it's definitely more heavy duty materials than what you would find on a standard um, Air Force One, which would normally have a synthetic leather, a regular leather, or some kind of textile material. This has I'm not sure if it's actual leather, they don't list it as actual leather, but definitely what seems to be a leather-like material here at the toe. Um, it has that nice wheat color and it actually is uh, a type of material that I believe would scratch and show wear, similar to like a leather wood. Uh, it's really, really difficult to tell as, as to whether or not this actually is leather. I believe it is, but I can't say 100% for sure. Um, kind of running up the sides and of course down the actual quarter of both shoes, as you guys can see, you have more of that wheat coloring, but it has a kind of like a elephant print type looking thing. I'm not sure exactly what you would uh, specify this as. I suppose it is elephant print, but depending on how you look at it, it kind of doesn't look like it. Um, and it does have the embossed Nike swoosh on either side, a signature of, of course, the Air Force One sneaker. Um, and then uh, just a really, really clean aesthetic to it. You do have some of this kind of more of a textile material at the top. Again, all wheat in color. It has like a shiny effect to it. You do have the actual lace holes that do have uh, the little kind of uh, gold, uh, shiny gold rivets, I guess. And then you do have a rope lace right here, your Air Force One little kind of lace uh, decoration thing right here at the bottom of the shoe. Um, and then actually kind of a very winter boot-esque type uh, kind of uh, hinged piece right here, kind of right there near the top of the lacing. You do have your Nike Air Lunar Force One branding there on the tongue. And then you also do have your Nike Air branding here on this very large uh, leather pull tab, which is actually pretty nice to have, not only for aesthetics, but also in terms of making it pretty easy to put these things on and of course take them off. You do have a wheat liner and the insole is also wheat in color. So it's pretty much a standard color across the entire upper with some very subtle gold accents. You do have the lunar sole on this particular shoe as opposed to the standard Air Max sole. Um, so it does say air right there and it does have a slightly different shape than a standard um, uh, Air Force One would actually have. Uh, it is of course a Lunar Lawn foam, which does have more of a cushion sensation than what you would find on a standard Air Force One. It also makes this shoe remarkably lightweight, despite how big and bulky they actually are. When you actually put them on your feet and hold them in your hands, they're a lot lighter than you might expect them to be, which was also one of the major draws uh, for this particular shoe as my next winter boot versus a lot of other ones like the actual um, uh, Air Max 90 sneaker boot. That's a significantly heavier shoe in comparison to this, even though it may appear to be a little bit less bulky. As far as the sole is concerned, it has the general aesthetic or general kind of design of what you're gonna find on a standard Air Force One. They tried to keep a similar theme, but it has a traction pattern and an amount of rubber that is definitely more suited towards a winter type of environment. It's a softer rubber material, so it's not gonna freeze up. It's gonna, you're gonna have some decent grip when walking around in the snow or even on ice. Um, and it just has some nice tread to it. Hopefully you guys can see that when I put it at this angle. You do have the stars at the front that are, there's a lot less of them, but they're a lot kind of bigger 
Um, it's almost like having toe picks right at the very tip of the toe, which is really nice. And all in all, just a really nice sole. It does have the lunar effect. So you can see there's little splits in the rubber itself where you can see the white lunar kind of peeking through. And uh, overall, as a winter boot, really, really big fan of these. $155 is a bit of a steep price, I will say that much. Uh, but they're available in tons of different colorways. This one being one of the originals, so I'm not sure if it's available anymore. But if you guys are interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description. And any of the currently available colorways, I will have Buy It Now links for. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in a pair. And with that being said, let's move on to the on-feet portion of the video so we can get a better idea as to how these shoes look and of course how they fit. All right, so here is a look at the boots with a pair of pretty standard blue jeans. This is probably how I'm gonna be wearing these things most of the time. Uh, I only really wear boots when there's a lot of snow or it's extremely cold and I know my feet are gonna be frozen because I'm one of those people that always seems to be very cold um, during the winter time. So uh, this is definitely a pair of shoes that I will be using pretty regularly. I try to wear as many of my shoes as possible, but in the winter time when it snows a lot and the weather just isn't very good, you're kind of limited to what you can wear uh, for kind of practicality reasons. So something like this just seems like it's going to stand up to just about any kind of severe winter weather, which is, like I said, why I picked them up. Plus they look good, which is always a plus. In terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, uh, they're really comfortable. They feel like kind of uh, Air Force Ones to a certain extent. It has that same general shape to them. It's got a good volume to it, so even if you do have really wide feet, these are gonna fit you quite comfortably. And as far as that lunar bottom is concerned, it does make for a lighter feel than you might expect. It doesn't have that same kind of ultra plush kind of responsive cushioning sensation that you'd find from a pair of Lunar Lawn running shoes. But after some wear time, because I have had um, boots with Lunar Lawn soles before, it will become a little bit more cushioned feeling underfoot. So uh, they're comfortable from right out of the box, but they will get even more comfortable and more cushioned over time as they break in. So that's pretty much it as far as how these things look on feet. And I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right guys, sit for my review of the Nike Lunar Force One sneaker boots. Big fan of the shoe in general, especially in this particular colorway. And really the main reason for this shoe's existence is for people like me who don't necessarily like the look of winter boots, but need a shoe that actually does offer the practicality, features, and warmth of a pair of winter boots. So if that is you, then this is a shoe that I can strongly recommend. They're comfortable, and despite them being on the bulkier side, they're surprisingly lightweight as well, which is definitely a major plus. Uh, so if you guys are interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description. Any of the currently available colorways, there will be Buy It Now links for. So again, go ahead and check it out if you're interested in a pair. If you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comment section. Definitely will get an answer out to you. And if you have any suggestions for other sneakers you'd like to see featured on the channel leave those suggestions down below in the comment section as well and i will take a look at everything you guys have to say if you enjoyed today's video be sure to support it with a like subscribe if you haven't already for more sneaker reviews of course all of my social media information is down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching